I was just making some steamed egg barley, and I guess the steam was a bit strong. I was trying to ventilate the kitchen by leaving the window open. Is that really the reason why you were climbing out the window? It looks to me like there might be a fire in here. No, no, no. It was just the egg barley, I swear. I promise you, there's no fire in here. What kind of regional expression? Are you telling me this is a regional dialect for egg barley? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Shit biscuit is the common term used by those who live in the area around here. That's not true, is it? This is just a substitute for egg barley. No, it's not a substitute. It has its own unique flavor and texture that differs from traditional egg barley dishes. Our chefs are confident that you and your guests will love it. I don't care about the flavor or texture. I just want what I asked for. Skinner, I think you should look at this. The kitchen is on fire. No, I'm sure it's just a centaur. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. But I can see the flames. Let me show you. No, there's no need to worry. I'm sure it's just a centaur. But how can you be so sure? Let me show you. Um, well, this was nice and all, but I think I should be going now. What? Why? I thought you were enjoying yourself. I was, but I think I hear something. Smoke, maybe? What is going on? Oh, uh, that. Just the centaur. It's part of the ambiance. No, I'm pretty sure it's smoke. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. So good of you to make it. Please come in. I've just put some Chiana Cloa on the stove. It'll be ready in no time. Thank you, Skinner. It smells delicious. Is that your famous recipe? Oh, yes. I've been perfecting it for years. I'm sure you'll love it. I'm sure I will. What a nice surprise. I'm glad you like it. Let's go sit in the living room while it's cooking. What have I done? I worked so hard on this dish and then I go and burn it. How could I have been so careless? I should have been paying more attention. And now I have to start all over. I guess I'll just have to try again and this time do it right. I'm sure I saw something outside the window that might help me. I know I can do this. I just need to go out there and see what I can find. Who knows? Maybe I'll find some Rajuzano cheese that will be perfect for this dish. Okay, I'm going outside now to find something that can help me replace the burnt Shinochoa with Rajusano cheese. Here I go. Wish me luck. Fingers crossed. I'm sure I can do this. What the hell do you think you're doing? This kitchen is full of smoke. It's just steam from the steam Shinochoa I'm making. You know, I've been trying to perfect this recipe for months now. It'll be ready soon. Well, Skinner, why don't you put whatever it is that's on fire out before one of us gets hurt? All right, of course. I'll take care of it right away, sir. Skinner, why did you give me Ragusano cheese when I asked for Chilochoa? I'm so sorry, Professor Chalmers. I was under the impression that you had requested Ragusano cheese. It must have been a misunderstanding. I'll go and get you the Chionocloa right away. Skinner, why are you lying to me? I distinctly asked for Chionocloa and you gave me Ragusano cheese. What is going on here? I... I don't know what to say. I guess I was just confused and didn't want to admit it. I'll go get you the Chionocloa immediately, I promise. Skinner, I can't believe you would lie to me like this. I need an explanation for why you gave me the wrong cheese. Is there a fire in the kitchen? No, it must be Will-o'-the-Wisp. You can't see it with your eyes. Can I at least take a look? No, it's not safe. I don't understand. What is it then? My goodness, is there a fire? That can't be good. No, this is just a little bit of fun. I like to call it 
Will o' the Wisp. Nothing to worry about. If you say so, I won't worry. Thank you for the meal. I should be going now. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too, goodbye. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The lemon sole isn't quite ready yet, but it smells delicious. Thank you, Skinner. It does smell wonderful. Is there anything I can do to help you get ready for dinner? No, thank you, Superintendent. I've got it all under control. Why don't we take a seat and share some small talk until it's ready? Sounds great. So, Superintendent, what's been keeping you busy lately? That was so careless of me. I should have been more careful. Now I'm going to have to order takeout instead. Ah, uh, why did I have to be so silly? Now I'm going to have to explain this to my wife. That's it. That Cotswold stone over there looks perfect for replacing that burnt lemon sole. I'm going to have to get it somehow. But how? I can't do it alone. I'll need someone to help me. Maybe there's someone nearby who can help. I'll carry the stone, but it won't be easy. Time to start asking around and see if I can find a helping hand. Wish me luck. What are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What's going on? Oh, nothing, sir. Just making some steamed lemon sole. The steam must have set off the smoke alarm. I don't believe you. I can smell something burning. You're hiding something from me. No, sir. I'm not. I promise. The smoke is just from the lemon sole I'm making. Skinner, why did you replace the lemon sole with Cotswold stone? Uh, you notice that? Well, that's because the lemon sole weren't feeling very fresh, and I wanted to make sure you only got the very best, so I had to make a quick swap. That doesn't make any sense. What's really going on here? Okay, fine. I'll tell you the truth. I made a mistake. I accidentally ordered the wrong item, and when it arrived, I didn't want to tell you, so I decided to try and pass it off as something else. That's not acceptable. I want a refund for this meal. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to evacuate the building immediately. No, no, no. Ah, that's not a fire. That's a meteor shower. Just watch the beautiful shooting stars. Skinner, I need to see it for myself. Let me take a look. No, it's too dangerous. You stay here and enjoy the show. Skinner, this is serious. We need to get out now. Thanks for lunch, Principal Skinner. I've got to go. It looks like the house is on fire. What house? Oh, that old thing. That's just a meteor shower. No need to worry. Okay, I'll see you later then. Bye now. Bye! Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I'm just cooking up some side of bacon for us. It won't be ready for a few more minutes, though. That smells delicious. I'd love some bacon. What else are you cooking? I am also making some scrambled eggs and toast. Would you like some? Yes, that sounds great. Thank you. You're welcome. Please, have a seat and I'll bring it right out. Is there anything else I can get you? Great, just great. I was so looking forward to that bacon and now it's ruined. What am I going to do now? I have to find something else to eat. Maybe I'll just try making some eggs. That shouldn't be too hard, right? I'm sure I can pull something off. Ah, I see a bushy in the garden. It looks like it's the perfect size to replace the burnt side of bacon. Time to get to work. First, I need to cut the bushy in half. I think it's best to use a sharp knife to do it. Ah, here we go. All right. Now I just need to place the bushi on the frying pan and turn the heat up. Here we go! 
And now all I need to do is wait for it to cook. I'm sure it'll turn out delicious. Yeah, yes, perfect. Now I can enjoy my breakfast, complete with some delicious boshi instead of the burnt side of bacon. What are you doing in here? The whole kitchen is full of smoke. It's just steam. Nothing to worry about. Steam? Don't try and feed me that. This kitchen is on fire and you know it. No, uh, no, it's just a little bit of smoke. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. What's going on here, Skinner? Did you purposely switch out the side of bacon I asked for? No, absolutely not. I told you it was Boshi from the start. I never said anything about bacon. But I distinctly remember you saying side of bacon. Now, why would you do that? Oh, I must have been confused. I meant to say Boshi all along. I apologize for any confusion. I, I, I don't believe you, Skinner. I think you deliberately switched out the side of bacon for this Boshi and you're trying to cover it up. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to call the fire department. Oh no, I'm sure it's just volcanic lightning. It's not a fire, it's just a natural phenomena. Skinner, this is an emergency. We need to leave the school and call the fire department now. No, no, it's just a natural phenomena. Don't worry, it will pass soon. Skinner, I'm not going to stand here and argue about this. The kitchen is on fire and we need to call the fire department right now. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. I should probably get going. Looks like your house is on fire, though. Oh, that. That's nothing. It's just volcanic lightning. Nothing to worry about. Oh. Okay, then. If you say so, I'll be on my way. Very good. Have a nice day, Chalmers. You too, Skinner. Welcome to my humble abode, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thanks, Principal Skinner. It certainly smells like something delicious is cooking. Indeed it is. We are roasting a pig in the backyard for our little get. Together. It won't be ready for a few hours yet, but feel free to have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, that sounds great. Is there anything I can do to help out until then? Actually, the sides are almost ready, so you could help me take them out to the table if you'd like. Cursed be this pig roast. What have I done? How can I ever make this right? Is there any way out of this mess? I'm so sorry, devil. Please forgive me. Okay, devil, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go outside and see if I can find a wild boar. I'll catch it and make that coda of Axanera. That should make everyone at the party happy, right? If I can't find a wild boar, then I'll have to make do with some other type of pork. I've got some onion, garlic, anchovies, carrots, celery, and tomatoes. I'm sure I can make something nice with those ingredients. I'm sure I can make something nice with those ingredients. Wish me luck. I'm counting on you, Dell. All right, here I go. What is going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke and why were you climbing out the window? <sighs> it's just steam, sir. I'm making a steamed pig roast. A traditional treat from my childhood, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. Now please answer my question. Why were you climbing out the window? Well, my oven was malfunctioning and I came in to check on it. I was just trying to get some fresh air. It's not like I was trying to escape or anything. Skinner, you can't expect me to believe this. What is this? Coda a la vaccinara. Ah, uh, Coda a la vaccinara. It's a regional delicacy. Slow-cooked, succulent pork from a secret recipe of Italian farmers. Our chef was so excited to prepare it for you. But I, but I specifically asked for a big roast. Yes, of course. We decided to go the extra mile and give you the very best. This coda a la vaccinara is so tender it practically melts in your mouth. The flavor is out of this world. But this isn't what I asked for. 
It's not a gargoyle. This kitchen is on fire, and we need to put it out now. No, no, there's no fire. I'm sure it's just a gargoyle. Let's take a look at it together, shall we? No! There's no time for this. We need to put out the fire now. Come now. I'm sure it's just a gargoyle. No need to worry about this. That's it. We need to get this fire under control right now, and I'm not standing here arguing. Let's go and get help. What? House on fire. I had better be on my way. Thank you for lunch, Mr. Skinner. Uh, no problem, Chalmers. It's just a little gargoyle problem. Nothing to worry about. I'm sure it'll be sorted soon. Well, all right then. Goodbye. Goodbye, Chalmers. Take care, Mr. Skinner. Oh. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. I apologize that dinner is not quite ready yet, but I'm sure it won't be too much longer. Ah, oh, that's quite all right, Principal Skinner. It's a pleasure to be here. May I get you a drink while we wait? That would be very generous, thank you. What would you like? I have wine, beer, and soda. I think I'll have a beer if you have one. I certainly do. Let me grab it for you. Make yourself comfortable and I'll be right back. Why did I have to be so careless? I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I just burned the shin like that. Now what am I going to do? It's no use lamenting over it now. I need to figure out what to do next. Maybe if I slow down, I can salvage it somehow. Ah, uh, yes. I see a donut truck headed this way. This is my chance to replace this poor burnt shin with a delicious donut. I just need to get outside and get it before the truck passes by. I can do this. Now all I need to do is find something to open the window. I can do this. Time to get creative. I just need to find something to pry it open. A broomstick, maybe. I can do this. Uh, <laughs> found a screwdriver. Now I can open this window and save the day. Cheers to my resourcefulness. Here I come, donut truck. Skinner, what is going on here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Oh, it's nothing. Just some steam. I'm making some soup. Steam doesn't cause that kind of smoke. Put it out now or I will. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'll take care of it right away. Mr. Skinner, uh, why have you replaced the food with donuts? Uh, Professor Chalmers. You see, this donut is actually a special kind of ancient Chinese shin. Fu. It is made with a rare type of yam that is said to have the power to unlock superpowers. We've been testing this theory out on the students, and so far, the results have... That's not what I asked. Why do you just tell me the truth? Why did you replace the food with donuts? Well, Professor Chalmers, I have to admit it was a bit of an experiment. I wanted to see if donuts could be just as nutritious as shin. Fa. As it turns out, donuts are actually quite a tasty and nourishing snack. The students seem to love them, too. So I'm... Don't try to distract me with more of your lies, Skinner. I want to know the truth right now. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to evacuate. No, no, no. Don't worry, it's probably just a sonic boom. It'll be over in a jiffy. Skinner, it's not a sonic boom, it's a fire. We need to get out of here now. No, no, I'm sure it's just a sonic boom. Don't worry, it'll pass soon. Skinner, this is getting dangerous. We need to leave now. Goodbye, Skinner. I'm off now. Goodbye, Chalmers. Thanks for coming by. Have a good afternoon. Ah, Professor Skinner, is something wrong? I thought I smelled something burning. Oh, no, no, nothing's wrong. 
It was just a sonic boom from a passing jet. No need to worry. If you say so. Welcome to my humble abode. Please come in. I'm so glad you could make it on such short notice. Thank you. It smells delicious in here. What are you cooking? Romaine lettuce. I've been experimenting with a few unique ways to prepare it, but it's not quite ready yet. I look forward to sampling your culinary masterpiece whenever it's ready. Thank you. So what brings you here? Oh, no. I can't believe I burned the romaine lettuce. What was I thinking? I'm such an idiot. I guess I'll have to go to the store and get some more. I'll never make that mistake again. I think I can still salvage this dish by replacing the burnt romaine lettuce with butterhead lettuce. That should give the salad a much better flavor and texture. Now, how can I get my hands on some butterhead lettuce to replace the romaine? Oh, maybe I could ask a neighbor if they have any. Or I could run to the store to buy some. Either way, I should be able to figure this out. All right, time to take action. Let's go get some butterhead lettuce. Hey, uh, here I come, salad. What's going on here? Why is the kitchen full of smoke? Oh, it's just steam. I'm cooking something, nothing to worry about. Is the kitchen on fire? No, absolutely not. Just a bit of steam, nothing to worry about. Skinner, what's going on here? Are you trying to feed us something other than what we ordered? No, of course not. This butterhead lettuce is actually a special kind of romaine lettuce bread, especially for the cafeteria. It's a combination of the best of both worlds. And trust me, it tastes better than the regular stuff. This isn't the romaine lettuce we ordered. I can tell because it has a very different texture and color. Where did you get this from? It's a new variety of romaine lettuce grown in a secret garden somewhere in South America. I got it directly from the grower himself. That doesn't explain why it's different to the romaine lettuce we ordered. Explain yourself. Skinner, wake up. The kitchen is on fire. What? No, no, no. This isn't a fire. It must be the Bermuda Triangle. No, this is a fire. We have to get out of here. No, this is something paranormal. We must investigate further and find out where the Bermuda Triangle came from. No, we have to get out of the house now. This fire is serious. Well, that was certainly an interesting lunch. I guess I should get going. Thank you for the meal, Skinner. Yeah, of course. It was a pleasure having lunch with you. Have a nice day. You too. Ah, Skinner, is something burning? No, nothing at all. It must be the Bermuda Triangle doing its thing again. Oh, okay then. Well, goodbye. Ah, Superintendent Chalmers. I'm so glad you could make it. Please, come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. I'm glad you like it. I made steamed prune cake. I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds delicious. It is. I'm sure you'll love it. Oh, no. I've burned the cake. What am I going to do? I'll just have to make something else. I'm sure Superintendent Chalmers won't mind. I'll just make a quick trip to the store and get some ingredients for a chocolate cake. I'll be back in a jiffy. I hope Chalmers likes chocolate cake. I'm sure he will. Oh, look, there's a group of ducks in the pond. I'll just grab one of them and make a duck dinner. Chalmers will never know the difference. I'll just kill it and pluck it and roast it. Easy peasy. I hope Chalmers likes duck. I'm sure he will. He's a reasonable man. What is going on here, Skinner? The kitchen is full of smoke. Uh, 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 I was just making a chocolate cake. I, um, uh, I, I burned the prune cake, so I had to make something else. Why? 
is there a dead duck in the oven? Uh, um, I thought you might like duck for dinner. I know it's your favorite. My favorite is not duck, it's chicken. And I don't eat duck because I'm a vegetarian. What is this, Skinner? This is not prune cake. I, I, um, I couldn't find any prunes, so I used blades instead. Why are there blades in my cake? Uh, um, I thought you might like the texture. The texture of blades in my cake? The kitchen is on fire, Skinner. What did you do? I, um, I was just making a chocolate cake. I, um, I burned the prune cake, so I had to make something else. Why is there a fire in the oven? Um, um, I was making a duck dinner. I, uh, uh, I thought you might like duck for dinner. I know it's your favorite. My favorite is not duck. It's chicken. And I don't eat duck because I'm a vegetarian. Thank you for lunch, Skinner. I'll see you tomorrow. I, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I did. It was very interesting. I'm glad you liked it. I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. It smells good in here. I'm making Empire Biscuits. They should be ready soon. I look forward to trying them. May I help you with anything? No, thank you. I'm almost finished. Oh, no. I can't believe I burned the Empire Biscuit. It was supposed to be a special treat for tonight. What a mess I've made. Well, I guess I'll just have to make another one. I better hurry, though, or everyone will be wondering what happened to the dessert. Maybe I can use the leaves from that tree outside the window to make locro. I bet the stems and leaves of the tree have a nice flavor, and I could mix it with some other ingredients to make a tasty version of the traditional dish. I'll have to do some research first and make sure I have the truest, and make sure I have the right ingredients and recipe. This could be a great replacement for the burnt empire biscuit. I just need to make sure I have enough time and the right supplies. Then I can get to work on this delicious dish. Now what should I call it? Locro Royale. That has a nice ring to it. Okay, I think I'm ready to give this a try. I'm gonna make Locro Royale. What is going on in here? The room is full of smoke. Skinner, why is the kitchen on fire? Oh, it's just a bit of steam from the steamed Empire Biscuit I'm making. Please don't worry. Everything is under control. Skinner, I can see the smoke and flames coming from the oven. What have you done? Oh, that. It's just a bit of extra heat. Nothing to worry about, I assure you. Skinner, why did you bring the wrong food? My apologies, sir. I thought a change could do us some good. The truth is... I heard a rumor about a new dish that was all the rage in Argentina. It sounded lip-smackingly delicious, so I decided to try it out. I'm sure you'll love the locro. It's... Skinner! That's not an acceptable answer. Now tell me the truth. All right, fine. The truth is I received an urgent phone call from a high-ranking official of the Empire Biscuit Company. He told me they had a small supply shortage and asked if I could pick up an alternative. Naturally, I couldn't say no to such a powerful figure, so I complied. I'm... Skinner, I'm not buying any of this. Last chance. Why did you bring the wrong food? Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. We need to get out of here. No, no, no. It's just a nightmare. There is no fire. There can't be any fire. Let me see. Show me the kitchen. No, I'm telling you there is no fire. Don't worry, it's just a nightmare. Skinner, this is serious. We have to get out of here now. Oh, thanks for the lunch, Skinner. I better be going now. All right, Chalmers. Have a good one. You too, Skinner. And good luck with the fire. What fire? This is just a nightmare. 
It'll all be over soon. Yeah, sure. See you around. So, what brings you by today, Chalmers? I just wanted to drop by and check on the Benito. They said it wasn't ready yet. That's right. It still needs a little bit of time. I'll go ahead and start it off while you talk. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Why did I burn the Benito? I always know how to cook, and now I've ruined everything. I don't know why, but I just can't seem to get the timing right. God. I need your help. I see a heart outside the window. I think it will help me replace the burnt bonito with a heart. Would you help me, please? I'm asking for your help, God. I believe that you can help me replace the burnt bonito with a heart. Thank you, God. I know that you can help me. I'll try to be careful. Thank you, God. I know that you're with me. Skinner! What's going on here? I'm not sure. It smells like there's something burning. The kitchen's on fire! Get out! How can the kitchen be on fire when there's no fire in it? Skinner, why did you give me heart instead of bonito? I don't know. I just felt like it. That's not answer, Skinner. Come on, tell me the truth. Okay, okay. I swapped the food because I was jealous of you and wanted to make you miserable. Jealous of me? Why would you be jealous of me, Skinner? Skinner, we've got a kitchen on fire. No, no, no. It's not on fire. It's just got a little bit of smoke in it from the oven being on. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, it's not. I just don't see the smoke. Skinner! The kitchen is on fire. Skinner, I'm starving. You gonna eat with me? No, I have to get back to the house. Thanks for lunch. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you later. Later. Do 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 do. When Skinner and Chalmers hit the scene, all eyes on them. You know what I mean. Skinner's schemes, they never work, but Chalmers won't lay down the hurt. Trouble follows, but they don't mind, creating chaos of all kinds. Skinner tries, and Chalmers tries too, but in the end there's nothing they can do. Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight, trying to set things right. See ya, Mara. Good morning. Superintendent Chalmers, it's so nice to see you. Please, come in and have a seat. The aviol is cooking, but it's not quite ready yet. Thank you, Skinner. It smells fantastic and I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad you're here to enjoy it, sir. Can I offer you something else while you wait? Tea or coffee, perhaps? Tea would be lovely. Thank you. I'll be right back with that. Please make yourself comfortable. Gods, I messed up. I burned the aviol. How could I have been so careless? I didn't pay attention to the stove. Now I have to start all over again. Please help me make this right, I beg of you. I have to accept that I made a mistake, but it doesn't mean that I have to give up. I am going to try again and make it right this time. I will be more careful and pay more attention. I will make this aviol perfect. Help me, O oh, divine forces. Show me a way to replace this burnt aviol with green beans. I cannot do this alone. If a solution exists, please reveal it to me. In the name of the earth, the heavens, and all the creatures that inhabit this world, I pray that guidance be revealed to me. Let me be guided to find a way to bring fresh green beans as a replacement for this burnt aviol. Let me find a way that I may bring joy to the table once again. Let the wise and generous gods show me a path so that I can bring more sustenance and beauty to the table. 
May the universe answer my petition and show me the way to replace this burnt taviol with fresh green beans. What are you doing here? Why is there smoke and why were you climbing out the window? Nothing, sir. It's just steam. I was just making some steamed aviol. I was just taking a quick break, that's all. I'm still not convinced. That looks like smoke to me. Is there a fire in here? No, there's no fire. I swear, it's just the steam from the aviol. I'm almost done. I'll clean it up in a few minutes. Skinner! This isn't aviol. What's going on here? Ah, uh, you must be unfamiliar with this region's dialect. This is what we call green bean. It's made with a special blend of spices and... Save it, Skinner. What happened to the aviol? Ah, uh, well, there was a bit of a mix-up at the store. They didn't have any aviol, so I had to make do with what I could find. I hope you don't mind. You know I do mind. I was looking forward to trying something new and you brought me this instead. This is unacceptable. There's a fire in the kitchen. We need to call the fire department. Nonsense, it's just a bugbear. There's nothing to see here. Why don't you just calm down and go back to your office? I need to see this bugbear for myself. Can I take a look? No, there's no need for that. I can assure you that it's nothing to worry about. I'm sorry, but I must insist. I need to see for myself what is going on in the kitchen before I can accept your explanation. Yeah. Thank you for the lunch, Skinner. But I think I should be going now. Oh, no need to rush off. Stay a bit longer, why don't you? There's nothing going on here that a little bugbear can't take care of. Bugbear! Ah! I think there might be something more serious going on here. Is it just me, or is there smoke coming out of your house? Nonsense. It's just a little bugbear. Don't worry about it. I can take care of it. Oh. Okay, then. I think I'll be on my way now. Hello, Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome. Please come in. The Wen Chang chicken is still cooking, but it won't be long now. Thank you, Skinner. That smells delicious. Yes, it does. Would you like something to drink in the meantime? Yes, that would be great. Do you have anything alcoholic? Unfortunately, no. We only have some tea and juice. What a fool I am. I should have known better. How could I have burnt the Wen Chang chicken? It's one of my favorite dishes. This really takes the cake? I'm so embarrassed. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna let this ruin my night. I'm going to improvise and make something great out of it. With a little creativity, I can make something delicious out of these ingredients, even better than the original dish. I think I'm gonna get some globe flowers from outside. Maybe they will make a nice replacement for the burnt Twen Chang chicken. Let's go take a look. All right, here I go. I'm gonna head outside and see if I can find any globe flowers. Wow. I can see a whole patch of globe flowers growing in the garden. Perfect. I'm sure these will make a great substitute for the burnt Twen Chang chicken. Great. Now I just need to pick them, and I should be all set. Time to get picking. What is going on here? Why is there so much smoke? Is something on fire? No, no, nothing is on fire. I'm just preparing some steamed Wen Chang chicken and the steam is creating a lot of smoke. That's not steam. That's smoke. I can smell it. What did you do? Nothing. I was just following the recipe. I don't know why it's making so much smoke. What kind of food is this? I asked for Wen Chang chicken and you bring me globe flour? Uh, this isn't globe flour. This is some rare type of seafood I got specially imported from the South Pacific. It's a delicacy you won't find anywhere else. I'm not sure I believe you. Where did you really get this food? No, no, I'm telling you the truth. 
This is a rare and endangered type of food. I had to go through a lot of trouble to get it, and now you can enjoy a truly one-of-a-kind meal. Really? Well, I have to admit that this does look pretty unique. Let's give it a try. Skinner, there's a fire in the kitchen. No, I'm afraid not, Chalmers. I'm afraid what you're seeing is merely a sea monster sighting. Uh, a sea monster sighting? I need to have a look for myself. No, Chalmers. The kitchen is perfectly safe. There is no need for alarm. I insist on seeing it for myself. Well, that was an interesting lunch. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It was nice of you to invite me. You're quite welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. It was a pleasure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some pressing matters to attend to. Of course. Good day to you. Good day. Oh, Principal Skinner. Is something wrong? It smells like smoke. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in, please. Thank you, Principal Skinner. I was hoping I could smell some of that formaggio you mentioned. I'm afraid it's not quite ready yet. Give me a few minutes and I'll have it on the table. Sounds perfect. In the meantime, why don't you tell me about this new venture you mentioned in your email? Yes, of course. I'm excited to share the details with you. I think you will be very impressed. Oh, great. Just great. This is all I need. Burnt formaggio. How could I have been so careless? I'm never going to live this down. What am I going to do now? This is a disaster. I think I see a cactus out there that could work. Let's see if I can learn how to harvest it without getting hurt. If I can get it back to the kitchen without getting stabbed, maybe I can make some formaggio-style cactus dip. What a great idea. Time to get to work. Maybe I should start by finding some protective clothing. Let's see if I can find some gloves, a hat, and a long-sleeved shirt to wear while I try to harvest this cactus. What are you doing in my kitchen? And why is it full of smoke? And why were you trying to climb out the window? Uh, I was just steaming some formaggio. It's a new cooking technique I'm trying out. Nothing to worry about. Just a little steam. It doesn't smell like steam, it smells like smoke. Are you trying to tell me there's no fire here? No, of course not. I'm sure it's just steam. Look, I can prove it. I'll open the oven door and show you. See? Just steam. What kind of regional expression is cacticaea? It's an ancient Italian word that translates to all, encompassing succulent dish. It was thought to bring good luck to all who consumed it. I find that hard to believe. Is there any proof of this? Well, there are a few old recipes that have survived the centuries, and I have some personal experience with it as well. It's a very tasty dish. Maybe so, but I still need to know the real name of this food. Okay, Skinner. What is going on here? I'm seeing smoke and things are burning. It looks like there's a fire in the kitchen. No, no, no. That's not a fire. It's alchemy. I'm just dabbling in some experimental cooking techniques. No need to worry. I'm sure everything's under control. I'm not so sure about that. I'd like to see it for myself. No, I'm afraid that's not possible. Just trust me, I know what I'm doing. This is really concerning. I think we should call the fire department just to be on the safe side. Wait, the house is on fire. We have to leave now? No, it's just a little alchemy experiment I'm working on. Nothing to worry about. Let's finish lunch. But the flames are getting bigger. Nonsense. I told you it was alchemy and I'm not changing my story. Now, let's finish lunch. This is crazy! We have to get out of here now!
Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Come in, please. The Chupa Chops are still cooking, but they'll be ready soon. Ah, oh, thank you, Skinner. It's always a pleasure to come over and try your Chupa Chups. Indeed. I'm sure they'll be to your liking. Would you like some refreshments while we wait? That sounds great. Do you have any soda or juice? Yes, we have both. What would you like? Shit! I can't believe I burned the Chupa Chups. I'm such an idiot. Why did I have to do that? I'm so mad right now. God damn it, this is so frustrating. Oh, God damn it, this is so frustrating. Else, I could do. Well, I guess I could try making something else. At least that way I can salvage this disaster. Damn it. Damn it. All right, I've got an idea. I'll go outside and see if I can find any rugelach. That'll do the job. Off I go. Right then, I'll go get me some rugelach. Sorry, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to break into that bakery over there. Here goes nothing. Yeah, managed to get some rugelach without getting caught. Now for the taste test. What are you doing in here? And why is there smoke? What were you doing climbing out the window? I was just making steamed chupa chups. The smoke is just the steam. No need to worry. Don't give me that. This kitchen is on fire and you know it. Now, tell me the truth or I'm calling the fire department. All right, all right. It's my fault. I was trying to cook something and it got out of hand. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Is this what you just said? Rugelach? Yes, sir, that's right. You see, Rugelach is a colloquial term for chupa, chups in some parts of the world. It's a regional thing. So, I just wanted to surprise you with something a little different. Regional? I see. Um, well, I guess I'll try it. Exactly, sir. You won't be disappointed. You better be right, Skinner. Skinner, what is going on? I can see that there is a fire in the kitchen. No, 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 no. That's not a fire. It's just a parhelic circle. See? See the way the smoke is moving like a spiral? I'm sorry, Skinner, but a parhelic circle doesn't cause a fire. Let me go in and check it out. No, no, no. It's much too dangerous. I'm sure it's just a parhelic circle. Skinner, I'm not convinced. I need to go in and make sure. Well, uh, this was a nice lunch, thank you. I really appreciate it. It was my pleasure. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. It was delightful. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be going. Of course. Have a good day. You too. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. So glad you could make it. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells wonderful in here. Is dinner almost ready? Not quite yet, but it should be soon. Well, that's a relief. I was worried I was going to be late. Not at all. Everything is right on schedule. Oh, no. I can't believe I burnt the undercut. What am I going to do now? I should have been paying more attention. I need to figure out a way to salvage this. What if I put some extra sauce on top? Maybe that will help hide the taste. Maybe I can just serve it late and hope no one notices. Mmm, that spiceberry bush looks like it could be just what I need. Maybe I could use it to replace the burnt undercut. I could harvest some of its berries and use them to make a sweet and spicy topping for my muffins. Yes, I think that's a great idea. Now all I need to do is climb out the window and get some of those berries. Thank goodness for this window. I wouldn't be able to get to that bush without it. Okay, here goes nothing. You, that wasn't too hard. Now let's see how many berries I can get. What are you doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. Have you started a fire? No, no, no. It's just the steam from the boiling potatoes. Nothing to worry about. There's no way that's just steam. It smells like burning. Show me the stove. 
Um, well, the stove is off. The smoke must be coming from something else. What is this? I thought I ordered undercut. Um, undercut. Who said anything about undercut? No, no. This is the new limited edition Spiceberry flavor. It's the hottest new flavor on the market. You absolutely must try it. I don't believe you. Who would order such a strange flavor? Oh, it's all the rage. Everyone's talking about it. You can't get it anywhere else. It's a special secret recipe only I know. Trust me. You're gonna love it. I don't buy it. Tell me the truth. Skinner. We are in serious trouble. The kitchen is on fire. We need to act fast and put it out before it spreads. No need to panic, Chalmers. I think it's just mystery booms. I'm sure it'll pass soon. Don't worry about it. Mystery booms? No, that's not it. This is a fire. We need to act fast and put it out before it spreads. Yeah, yes, yes, I know. But don't you think it's a bit suspicious that the booms occurred at the same time as the fire? It's probably just another natural phenomena. No need to worry. No, Skinner. There's no mystery here. This is a fire. We need to call the fire department and put it out before it's too late. Well, thank you for lunch, Skinner. I think it's time for me to go. I noticed the smoke was getting thicker and the fire alarms going off. I think it's best we don't stay here any longer. No fire. Just a series of mysterious booms. Nothing to worry about at all. Ah, right. Sure. I'm sure it will be all right. But still better not to take any chances. See you soon. Take care, Chalmers. And see you soon. Goodbye. Uh, Superintendent Chalmers, it's so nice to see you again. Please come in. Thank you, Skinner. What a lovely smell. Is that Jamaican Maroons I smell cooking? Indeed it is. It's not ready yet, but I'm sure it will be soon. That sounds delicious. I can't wait to try it. I'm sure you'll be pleased. Would you like to take a seat in the living room while we wait? Ah, uh, what a mess I've made. All that work. All that money. This is not how I imagined this night to end. I'll have to start cleaning up, but it looks like I'll have to order takeout for dinner. Why couldn't I have just followed the instructions more carefully? I need to go outside and gather some ingredients. It looks like there's a patch of grass outside the window that might work. Maybe some wild onions, garlic, and peppers. That should do the trick. I, I just need to get a good crusty dough and some sausage, and I should be able to make... Some delicious sausage bread that will make a perfect substitute for the Jamaican maroons. Let's get to work. First, I need to go outside and forage for the ingredients. Hopefully, I can find some wild onions, garlic, and peppers. Then I need to get the dough and sausage from the store. With all of these ingredients, I should be able to make some delicious sausage bread. Here goes nothing. What is going on in here? What's all this smoke? This place is a disaster. Oh, it's nothing, sir. Just a bit of steam from the steam Jamaican maroons I'm making. Deliciously spicy. Look at this disaster. There's smoke everywhere. Is something on fire? Have you tried to put it out? No, sir. I just stepped away for a moment. I can have this cleaned up in a jiffy. Mr. Skinner, why did you bring sausage bread when I asked for Jamaican maroons? Well, sir, I was on my way to the store to pick up the maroons when I happened to notice a special sale on sausage bread. I thought it was only fair to the taxpayers to make use of the discounted item, so uh, I changed my order. Uh, that doesn't seem very likely, Mr. Skinner. Is there something else you'd like to tell me? No, sir. I stand by my story. I was simply trying to do the most economical thing for the district. Well, it didn't appear to be the most economical thing when the Jamaican maroons you were supposed to provide were on sale at a lower price. There's a fire in the kitchen, Skinner. 
We need to put it out or call the fire department. Fire rainbows, Chalmers. I told you it's just fire rainbows. Can't you see them? No. Well, there must be too much smoke for you to see them. Don't worry, it's all under control. No scare. There is a fire in the kitchen. We need to deal with it. No, 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 Chalmers. I told you, it's just fire rainbows. Do you not believe me? I'm sorry, but it is not possible for you to see the fire rainbows. Skinner, please. We need to deal with the fire, now. That's certainly an interesting way to look at it, but I think we should get out of here. This house is on fire, and that's not something we should ignore. Yes, I suppose it does appear as though our house is on fire, but I don't think there's anything to worry about. This is just a fire rainbow. It's an optical phenomenon caused by light reflecting off the ice crystals in the air. It's quite beautiful, really. That's all well and good, but we really should get out of here. We need to call the fire department and make sure that the fire doesn't do too much damage. A fire rainbow, though. It's just too amazing. I think we can just stay here and enjoy the show. I understand the appeal, but I'm afraid that isn't an option. We need to take action and get help. Good evening, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. Dinner isn't quite ready yet, but the Tsukun is cooking up nicely. Ah, thank you very much. The smell is quite delightful. Yes, it should be ready in just a few minutes. Is there anything I can get you to drink before dinner? Ah, uh, a cup of tea would be lovely, thank you. Of course. Please have a seat and I'll go make a pot for us. Damn it! How could I have burned the Tsukun? I was so close to making the perfect dish. Oh, hello there. I'm so glad you're here. Can you help me figure out how to fix this? I need to make the best tsukun possible. I think I can make a better tsukun out of those lyophyllum decasts outside my window. I can use their porcini flavor and juicy texture to replace the burnt tsukun. I just need to get them, figure out how to prepare them, and perfect my recipe. Erwin, what do you think? I could really use your help in the kitchen right now. You know, I once heard about a recipe for a delicious porcini truffle tsukuni. I think that could be our solution to this problem. I'm gonna go out and get the ingredients and see what I can do. It's worth a shot. Wish me luck. Maybe I should have asked you first, Erwin. I guess I'm just too excited to get cooking. What do you think you're doing in here? The kitchen is full of smoke. What are you doing? I'm making steamed sukun, sir. It's a Japanese dish I'm experimenting with. The smoke is just steam from the pork dumplings and other ingredients I'm using. Do I look like I'm buying that? Put out the fire now. If I find out you started this deliberately, you will be in a lot of trouble. Yes, sir. I'm on it. Why did you give us this mushroom instead of the sukuni? It was the only thing left in the kitchen. I was sent on a mission by the Mushroom King himself to find the rare Lyophyllum decasts. I had to go far and wide to find it. I thought since you like exotic mushrooms so much, you'd appreciate this one. But why didn't you just get us the tsukuni instead? Well, oh, oh, oh. Sukuna is hard to come by, and it's not in season right now. So I had to get creative and get something equally delicious. I thought the Lyophyllum decasts would be a great alternative. But why didn't you tell us this before? I can see the fire. It is clearly not a fire rainbow. What are you going to do about it? It's okay, I can handle it. I don't want you to worry. Just sit back and relax. I know what I'm doing. I don't think you do. We need to get out of here right away. This fire is serious and I won't stand here while you deny it. I'm sure there is a perfectly reasonable explanation. Let me take a closer look and see if I can figure it out. No. We need to call the fire department and get out of here now. Don't waste any more time denying the existence of this fire. 
Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. I must be on my way now. Very well, Chalmers. Congratulations on a delicious lunch and thank you for joining me. Now, enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to come back soon. Will do, Principal Skinner. Oh, and one more thing. Take a look at that beautiful fire rainbow off in the distance. A fire rainbow? That's an interesting sight. Ah, uh, Dr. Chalmers, welcome to my humble abode. Please, come in. Thank you, Principal Skinner. The aroma of swordfish cooking is delightful. When will dinner be ready? It is not quite ready yet, but I expect to have dinner served in a few minutes. Would you care for a cocktail while we wait? No, thank you. I'll just enjoy the wonderful smell of the swordfish. Very well. Why don't we sit in the living room until it's ready? Stupid mistake. I should have known better. I can't believe I totally ruined the swordfish. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to the guests. Well, there's nothing else to do at this point except make something else. I guess I'll have to cook something else as quickly as possible. Aha! Uh -huh. If I could get my hands on some indigo, that should do the trick. I'll just have to figure out a way to get it. Ideally, I'll need to find a way to catch some, but I'm sure I can come up with a plan. Well, let's see. I could try a net or even a simple trap. Maybe I could find a way to attract the inigo to a certain spot. I'm sure I can come up with something. Right then, time to get started. I'd better start looking around for materials I might need. I'm sure I'll find something. What is that smoke? What are you doing in here? This kitchen is full of smoke. What is going on? Nothing, sir. I'm just making steamed swordfish for dinner. I'm... Sorry about the smoke, but it's not really a fire. I'll open a window and it should clear up soon. You better be telling me the truth. Make sure it gets cleaned up and get out of here. This isn't the place for fires. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'll get right on it. Skinner! Why did you bring us in Argo instead of swordfish? I, I had a hunch. The indigo would be a hit. It's a truly special dish, and everyone is sure to love it. Plus, it's an excellent source of protein. But that's not what was on the menu. It wasn't. Well, I must have been confused. I apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. Apology accepted, but I think you should be more honest in the future. Hey, Skinner, what's going on? I smell smoke and I don't see any lights. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. Just some light of Saratoga. Can I see it? No, I'm afraid that's not possible. Skinner, why won't you tell me what's going on? It smells like there's a fire in the kitchen. Well, I have to go now. Thank you for lunch, Principal Skinner. It was delicious. You're so welcome, Chalmers. Always a pleasure. Before you go, I have one more question. Would you like to hear about the Light of Saratoga? The Light of Saratoga? What's that? Ah, uh, it's an old legend around these parts. People say that the Light of Saratoga is the ghost of a young girl who died in a fire many years ago. It's an eerie tale, but a beautiful one, too. Maybe if you come back, I can tell it to you properly. That sounds fascinating. Maybe I will. Good day, Principal Skinner. Professor Chalmers, welcome. Please come in. The Chionacilla isn't quite ready yet, but it should be soon. Thank you, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious. I'm so glad you like it. I'm sure you'll love it once it's finished. Would you like something to drink while we wait? That would be lovely. I'd love some tea if you have any. I do indeed. Let me get that for you. Oh, no, I've ruined it. I was so looking forward to trying that Chionacilla dish. How am I going to explain this to everyone? 
Well, I guess there's no point in crying over spilled lentils. I'll just have to do my best to clean this up and try again with a different recipe. Um, there appears to be a large piece of scrap metal out there. I wonder if I can use it to make a replacement for the Bernciona Scylla. I bet I can figure out a way to make it work. All right, let's see what I can do. First, I'll need to gather the necessary tools. I'll need a drill, a hammer, some bolts, and some wire. Then I can start tinkering and see if I can make this work. Let's do this. One, two, three, hammer. This should do the trick. Now let's see how it works. Skinner, what the hell are you doing in here? It's filled with smoke. What happened? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just steam from the steam Shionacilla I'm making. It's a traditional Italian dish. That's not steam, Skinner. It's smoke. Now tell me what happened. Oh, uh, well, I guess I burned the Chionacilla a bit, but I'll start over and make it right. Don't worry. What is going on here, Skinner? We specifically requested Chionacilla, yet you've brought us Gabriel. Ah, yes. We had a little hiccup in the kitchen. The Chionocilla had gone off, so my team chose to make Gabriel instead. It's a much more flavorful fish with a delightful crunch. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. That doesn't make any sense. How can something go off so quickly? My team is incredibly efficient. They can have a dish of Gabriel ready within minutes. It takes longer to prepare Chionocilla, and they had already used up all of the ingredients. That seems highly unlikely. Are you sure you're not hiding something from me? Okay, Skinner. I think it's time to acknowledge what is happening in the kitchen. There is clearly a fire and we need to take action. No, I think this is some kind of weather manipulation. It must be a freak summer storm. Let's just wait it out. That seems unlikely. I think we should go and check out the kitchen to make sure. No, I don't think that's necessary. What we need to do is stay calm and wait for the storm to pass. I really think it is important that we go and see what's happening in the kitchen. I'm concerned this could be a real fire and we need to make sure everyone is safe. Well, thank you for lunch, Professor. I best be off. Have a good day. You too, Chalmers. Oh, and don't forget your umbrella. The forecast is for some rain later this afternoon. All right. Thanks for the reminder. No problem. Take care now. Will do. Do 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 do. It's Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. With his lies and her smackdowns, they keep things in sight. One spouts nonsense, and the other's straight talking. Their peculiar routine keeps the school rocking. It's Skinner and Chalmers in town tonight. Shinigo! Mora. Welcome, Superintendent Chalmers. Please come in. The Masyora isn't quite ready yet, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it when it is. Thank you for the invitation, Principal Skinner. It smells delicious in here. What exactly is Masyora? It's a classic Haitian dish made with eggplant, green pepper, and scallions. It's a bit of an acquired taste, but I think you'll like it. Sounds intriguing. I'm always up for trying something new. Excellent. Let me show you around the house while we wait for the Masyora to finish cooking. Oh, gods, what have I done? I have gone and ruined this delicious Masyora. How can I make up for my mistake? What can I do to fix this? I must think quickly. I will have to make something else with the ingredients I have on hand. Maybe a stir-fried vegetable or a salad. I can create something new and delicious. Aha! I see a cheddar cheese bush just outside the window. This is exactly what I need to replace the burnt Masiora. By the grace of the gods, let this be a sign of luck and fortune. 
I must act quickly and gather up as much of this delicious cheddar cheese as I can. Soon I will have a new and better dish to serve my family and friends. Thank you, gods, for providing me with this opportunity. May my efforts be rewarded. Onward, onward. Let's get this cheddar. What are you doing in here? Why is this kitchen filled with smoke? Why were you climbing out the window? That wasn't smoke. It was just steam from the steamed masiara I was making. I was just getting some fresh air. Don't lie to me, Skinner. I demand the truth. What's really going on here? Is the kitchen on fire? Ah, uh, no. It's just a small grease fire. I had it under control. I was just getting rid of the smoke. Regional expression. What kind of expression would that be? It's a word that means the pinnacle of deliciousness. Cheddars are the best cheese available in this part of the country. I'm afraid I'm still not convinced. What makes cheddars better than Masiora? Well, in terms of taste, cheddars have a more lively flavor. In terms of texture, they have a richer, creamier consistency. And overall, they just have a more vibrant, unique flavor that's hard to find with other cheeses. Um, that is a convincing argument. All right, I'll allow it. Skinner, the kitchen is on fire. No, no, I'm sure it's nothing. It's probably just some megalodon. Megalodon? Can I see it for myself? No, it's too dangerous for you to get close. Then let's call the fire department. Where's the fire? We'd better get out of here. What fire? I don't see any fire. Nothing to worry about here. It's just a Magalodon. The house is perfectly safe. Magalodon? Come on, Skinner. We need to get out of here. No, I'm telling you there's no need. It's just a harmless Magalodon. Plus the fire department will be here soon. They'll take care of any potential danger. Your optimism is admirable. But we have to go now. This house is on fire.